Okay guys, so right here is my entryway. Guys, I did it again. I forgot to record an intro. So hello, welcome. I am Mimi Brown 317 Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and I hope you would enjoy this, but I'm gonna be honest, grab a snack because this is a long one and I'm doing a lot of talking. However, if you would like to see the same video at night without all the talking and listening to some wonderful music, then please consider subscribing, sharing my video, liking my video, or just coming back again and watching it without me doing and all the talking but anywho i hope you all enjoy and i hope you will stay around here we go this is how it's decorated right now um i'm gonna be honest it's i wanted to do some more and i had hopes of doing more like really trying to do something on excuse me y'all my baby just got out the hospital so judging mama not me but anyway so um i wanted to like put the garland around here but um couldn't find any so this is just what it ended up being and though i'm not in love with it i love it <laughs> you know you can love somebody but not be in love with them that's kind of how i'm feeling about this right now <laughs> but anywho but yeah so i just have these um norfolk stems that i will well, I'm not even going to link y'all. As late as I am into the game, all this stuff to been linked on somebody's, <laughs> somebody's stuff. So, anyway, and then I just have some regular, like, little um, pine, I believe, um, picks from Hobby Lobby. Most of this stuff is Hobby Lobby or Target. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond or maybe Joann's. I don't know. But that's that. <laughs> um, and then I just have some Threshold balls <laughs> what are these y'all bells <laughs> some threshold bells this is the i believe it is pottery barn um candle dupe that i found actually it's not a dupe it's actually the pottery barn one because they did some research and found out that this is actually from pottery barn but anyway that's a candle but of course the smell isn't horrible it's just not my thing so um I'm just going to leave it as decor. But yeah, so this is the little entryway table. And then um, right here, I just have some um, little trees again. So then I have these little trees. This came in a three pack from Big Lots. It was a six foot, which is this one, a five foot, which is in my daughter's room, and then a... um four foot tree so i thought those are really cute those are the little girls they're sitting here and just kind of playing at the table but anywho so this is all i have like when you first come up the steps i didn't do a whole lot here because i didn't it's, just sit it on there there you go just sit it's okay just sit it down i didn't do a whole lot here because i didn't really have a whole lot to put here or it is mm -hmm. so yep and then this is the kids tree it was our um main tree. it was our main tree but it it just kind of um evolved into our well it kind of needed a little bit more love than i had to give this year and so um it's the kids tree and they I come can I show them elfie? okay yes and they have a little elf who decided okay That's there's me. my elf on the shelf being naughty as ever don't drop it. Yep. So, um, yeah, the little elf, her name is Elfie. She's there chilling, hanging out, I guess. I don't know. I maybe waving goodbye or something. But anyway, so this is the kids' tree. They completely decorated it by themselves. The only thing I did was to add these picks at the very, very top because, of course, they couldn't reach it and I didn't want them on ladders. But they did it themselves. So you see all of their little special ornaments and different mine, things. But when my first Christmas. That's right. So, yeah, and just some things that, you know, they wanted to put on there. So that's their tree. Here is the, um, like my little dining area. It's not really, yeah, I don't know, y'all, but anyway. And then here is another just little tree that I just put over here. I don't know why it's not focusing. There we go. Here's another tree that I just put over here. Um, and then I just like put this little 
a stool here and then added this little tree that I got from Hobby Lobby on there. Just kind of made like a little vignette moment with some bells. I had a blanket in here, but I needed the blanket for something. I don't remember what. Right? Oh, for those trees downstairs. So I took the blanket out and, but anyway, it's still the little bells in there. And so I just thought that was kind of a little cute little vignette moment. And then moving into our kitchen. Okay, she said it's my birthday. I'll take it. Um, <laughs> I just kind of I tore these off of a stem, and she's playing with Play-Doh, as you can see, and also tearing up my little centerpiece I thought I made. But anyway, I saw um, Hannah Naylor, I believe. She did this like on her formal um, dining room area and I was like, oh, that's kind of cute. So these bells right here were actually tied together and I just um, cut them off <laughs> and added some of these from World Market um, and made a little, a little, you know, situation. I want my baby to quit playing with them but she won't over here is the hot cocoa bar my baby was like please show the hot cocoa bar so this is our hot cocoa bar it was fully stocked <laughs> um but they have been enjoying it over the christmas season so right here um on my island chairs i just um took these these are from the wonder shop at target um they were only yeah i like this bow but this fringe is just almost too much and it's, it's doing too much but anyway so but and i really liked them and i thought they looked really really good to be ten dollars but the bow was silver or the bow the bells were silver and i wasn't really going for silver this year so i just did the same diy that i did over here on my mantle bells and fixed that so yeah so here is the little island chairs. I think they look so cute. And then here is just how I decorated the island. Not a whole lot. Of course, you guys already know. These are the um, Pottery Barn dupes that we got from Aldi. Shout out to my mama. Dear mama, you know I appreciate you. But anyway, yeah, so she um, hunted these down for me because I could not find them here where I live. And then here I just have a little candle from... Kirkland this smells so good yeah if anybody knows me y'all know I love me some coffee and that's literally what this smells like and there's just a little note from our elf but yeah so I didn't do a whole lot on here and then um there's a few things in my kitchen that I will always have no matter what um palette I choose to do and that is this Santa which is a cookie jar because this belongs to my late grandmother. So I don't care what color palette I ever choose to do. This is always going to be here. And so is this tea kettle right here. This is a tea kettle because, um, again, late grandmother will always be here. Then I have a nice little simmer prop going on. Y'all, it smells so good in here. Like amazing and it's just some um, it's just some um, um fresh cranberries some oranges apples cinnamon i put a little little bit of brown sugar some um vanilla and i think that's it oh and some cloves and allspice so it smells amazing and then right here i just have like my little cooking utensils and then the countdown to christmas and then just this little house thing that i got from target dollar spot now again not really crazy about this i love this this came out pretty cute and i was here we go i love this <laughs> this came out pretty cute but not crazy about that but that's that's what we're working with right now and then in here um, ignore this piece right here. This is a DIY that I have not finished. I'm turning it into a console table or not a console table, an entertainment table system, whatever it's called. Um, it used to be my daughter's, um, uh, dresser and she got a new bedroom suit. So, but I was like, this dresser was expensive and ain't no wrong with it. We're going to pull these drawers out and mama going to make something new. So I haven't done that yet, but, um, stay tuned. <laughs> anyway okay and then here is just another little um y'all y'all everybody house has these okay same candlesticks from 
uh, Amazon. And then this little deer here is from TJ Maxx, I'm sure. Little Target moment, little time for it. Um, and then again, y'all, I was in big lots. I don't think this was supposed to be there. But it was, because I kid you not, this looks exactly like the gold ones that are from Pottery Barn. The only difference is his leg or her leg, whatever. Which one has the antlers? I think it's, he is. He is. He's a boy. So <laughs> his legs are up. And, of course, on this one, they're not. And then this was just, y'all. Y'all know these are going around and they're like $70, $90 more dollars than I'm willing to pay um and so I just got this out the the craft area at Hobby Lobby and it was literally three dollars and I think that particular week it was like 50 percent off or 40 percent off so yeah winning and then here is our lovely tree so down here of course y'all know I always just do a blanket ain't got time to be doing a whole lot but this year honestly I was going for a minimal look, which clearly that ain't this. Um, but nevertheless, I love how it turned out. There's my little topper right there. Um, I just used a bunch of stems, some acorns because I wanted to have like the chocolate brown and gold and um, I love it. And then I have several DIY um, ornaments on here like this one here, just a clear bulb rub and buff on the um little part that hangs on it y'all listen words are not my thing today okay <laughs> i don't know what's going on but it's not my thing today and um then i just added some faux florals in here these i just literally spray painted chocolate brown because i wanted those and then um my mother shout out to her again dear mama no appreciate you <laughs> but yeah so she helped me um with my diy so this one, any pretty much any one that you see that is like taupe, brown, or anything in that uh, nature, we made them. Kind of marble. Yeah, like marble effect situations and stuff. We made these. So, yeah. yeah and then made these little, um, made those too. Where's the uh, hook for it? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, so here's our tree. Um, I'm going to come back again when it is um, darker, even though it's like super gloomy out right now, so that we can see it better. That's okay. You can stay there. And yeah, and so then here, moving on to our mantle. Y'all, I don't know why I stuck this up here, first of all. That's not. We're just going to stick that like that um y'all listen people be throwing these garlands up like it's easy and let me just tell you it is not they lied it took me forever hey hey but y'all they lied because like this was like the hardest thing I did this year was trying to put this garland up there and it looks so effortless which I'm happy that it turned out that way but y'all it was not and again I just have a basket this basket I always have in here just maybe not here um I always has blankets and stuff like that in there and so I just added these little reefs in there because y'all truth be told I wanted these reefs to go over here on this um <laughs> On these little chairs, on these uh, bar stools, whatever they're called. But uh, I bought two different ones. And I, I, that ain't what I was going for. So, yeah. But anyway, and then sofa area didn't do a whole lot at all. Just added some chocolate brown pillows. And then these pillows on um, the little deer one. This came in like a four pack. Um, my daughter had fun coloring on the one that looked like this so it's in the washer now and i'm praying that it comes off y'all y'all pray for me because like i'm struggling <laughs> but anyway and then these pillows right here i've had literally for years so like this one and the owl so i just threw it up there just to feel festive moving on over here 
this is just um like where i kind of use as my um like my coffee table and i just have this candle right here from target and it was like ten dollars i believe as you can see my daughter colored on this too but i was able to kind of clean some of it off but now this has um that little character and by character i say that to keep myself from going cuckoo and then here i just have some ornaments that i got from tj maxx and again some of that like little cheap um pine stems that i got from hobby lobby and so that's that and then that's pretty much it oh this little tree right here i saw it on jenna I don't know her Jenna's last name, but let me say something. Girl can decorate her ass off, okay? Like, seriously. Like, I pretty much stole this kind of similar idea from her last year um, because it was bomb. But anyway, but yeah, so I got this from Home Depot. And it looks super duper authentic. And it's just... A These are my little designer touch. These are from Studio McGee. Or no, I'm lying. Studio McGee is the sister brand to mcgee and co and these are from mcgee and co y'all listen i love them but when i tell you it took every bit of like weeks and weeks and weeks to get here i don't even know how long because it took so long again this is the larger version of this deer right here that is the pottery barn dupe again i promise the only difference is his leg is down and the pottery barn ones is up this one is from joanne fabric shout out to i think Brittany. Brittany, i don't know her last name everybody that i'm mentioning though because y'all i believe in being supportive of other channels and i'm hoping that other channels will be supportive of me also if they happen to see this um but yeah i believe in you know giving due diligence to those who you know have made an impactful decision on my christmas decorating and they have so anyway shout out to her um she told she well she didn't tell me personally in a video she mentioned these at joanne i literally called up got this in my home girls whose um home i had the liberty of decorating this year which i was so happy i had the honor of decorating her home this year and i was so excited to do that so i got us both one of those and so yeah here's the mantle again i'm going to come back when it is dark or darker so that you guys can see a little bit better because um the lighting of course is kind of horrible right now but yeah so here's the mantle world market target target dollar spot Act like y'all don't see that. Again, this was the hardest thing I had to do this year. And that's the best I could do. I went back looking for another garland. But of course, they are sold out. Because again, these are in everyone's house this year. And these are my DIY bells that I did. They were just kind of a little bit. They were like really, really shiny. And I just wanted more of a like aged or rustic look. And so, I just went in with some paint. I think it's from Target. Is it from Target? Or are you from Walmart? Where are you from? I don't know where this is from. No, no, no. Hobby Lobby. This is from Hobby Lobby. Have a shout out again. Hannah Naylor. She saw this at Hobby Lobby. I literally went right online and ordered it. Because y'all listen. The way my budget is set up. It's intense. And I can't be doing a whole lot of whole lot of. And um, I saw some of these for like way more than what I was willing to pay. This was like $30. And it was on sale. So clutch yeah so cop that um again this is kind of like an area um like kind of downstairs where i love it but i'm not in love with it y'all smell so good in here but i'm working it out with what i have because yeah but yeah guys so that is it and um the next video will be the exact same thing but i'm gonna show it without doing all the talking because me and my mother we always laugh and we're like i love such and such videos but like they talk too much shut up i just want to see the stuff so this is the one of me talking too much and you guys telling me to shut up and you just want to see and then i'm going to come back on one where you're just listening to some music and everything and just enjoying it and then again 
Um, I shall clean up the Play-Doh and all that jazz. And I'll be back at night. And hopefully my children won't have completely destroyed it. <laughs>